What did we do tonight? I broke my doors. I don't know if you can see that, but the edges are broke. And I kind of put the latches on. Hey YouTube, uh, what are we doing today? Well, we're doing more of what we did yesterday. I'm working on the doors for the work truck, for the uh, fugly truckling. Uh, I think I found the, the screws. These are what were, uh, let me get in there. These were what were in the truck. I think that's what I bought them for. There's 16 of them. I got two packages of eight and I got uh, nylock nuts, nylon insert lock nuts. Um, these just have a Phillips head, which I kind of like the idea of having a Phillips head on the outside so people can sit there and try and unbolt them. But anyway, uh, we're going to start off by, again, I'm not going to try and get very far on this. Um, I'm going to at least get these doors cleaned up with the grinder. I'm going to go around here in the side yard and pull the uh, half by one uh, rectangular tubing that I'm used for uh, stiffening the, the back and we're going to see if we can use that uh, crummy uh, uh, break that uh, from Harbor Freight to put a little little bend on the uh, perimeter of the doors. Uh, that's it. Not a lot. I might if we if we can get that far, I might cut the hinge and uh, get those welded on in place too. But yeah, that's it's not a it's not a fancy thing, but we're gonna do it. So let's get started. First thing you have to understand about this before I get started is it's a piece of junk and we're trying to bend 14 gauge in something that says it's only rated for up to 16 so it won't work well, real well. It's going to be a fight. You're just pushing it back. Garbage. Absolute garbage. I'm always optimistic that, that that cheap bender is going to work, but it never does. Uh, the the bed on that, that's what I bought it for, was the uh, to make those boxes and the sheet metal for the, <laughs> the uh, work truck for that flatbed, and it's all 14 gauge, and that bender, it just will not burn, it will not bend 14 gauge. I mean, it kind of sort of does, as long as it's not too wide, that kind of thing, but no, it took a very long time to build that box because uh, I kind of sort of used it and then I always ended up resorting to this method. Um, piece of angle iron clamped to the edge and that kind of stuff and I'll measure my distance back and I'm just going to hammer it over a little. So yay! The long and slow and inaccurate way to do it but that's what we're doing.
well, <laughs> that's one door. Um, so we broke the three sides that that is not the hinge side. Uh, so it gives it a little bit of a little bit of strength. But what it does is it gives it gives me room for a uh, a seal and it gives room for the hinge, and that kind of stuff. But and it gives a little bit of rigidity to the door. Actually, it gives a lot of rigidity to the door. But seeing as my little cheaply made uh, my little junky. Uh, Harbor Freight Tools uh, brake will not do this. This may take me a little longer than I had anticipated. So, yeah, I'm going to go in and have dinner, and then I'm going to come back and finish these. All right, so I've got all the doors, uh, the three edges broke. You can kind of see, well, it's kind of hard to see in the lighting here, but where are the two edges that cross over? You can see it makes a mangled little mess right there. So what we're going to do is this has to be done by hand. So I'm going to take it over here to the, the anvil and try and dress that up and kind of get it semi sort of radiused around and smoothed out. Uh, I don't know of any other way, so, yeah, even if, even if the brake had worked, I'd still have that mess to make, I'd still have that mess to make right, so, yeah, that's where we're at.
Well, that's actually all we're going to get done for tonight. Um, considering that my break didn't work for me, I think we probably did pretty well. Uh, after I kind of dressed these corners up on the anvil, I had to come back and cut the radius back because what happens is uh, the tip kind of folds over and you get a little little area proud here where it won't, when you go to close the door, it won't close flush. Uh, this one here, I went ahead and bolted it its latch in place uh, just to make sure they fit. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it, I think they'll look pretty good when they're all done. I still have the other three doors. I'm going to go ahead and drill the uh, holes for the uh, latches on those. And that's the way I'm going to finish it up for tonight. My back hurts really bad right now. Um, <laughs> and... Yeah, anyway, I'm just going to try and finish that up, and we'll just have to pick this up again maybe tomorrow. Uh, just kind of depends on when I get back and what I have time to do. But like I said, I really want to get these on, and, you know, so there's still uh, the reinforcement to, to cut and tack well on the inside, and then we got to clean them up a little bit and paint them. Uh, oh, the hinges still need to be cut, and I need to get... I'm not going to weld the hinges... To the body, I will probably uh, probably pop rivet them onto the body. Um, with the the transmission control module dying a second time, uh, I'm scared to death to strike an arc anywhere near that truck. It's they're real sensitive to anything like even supposedly even when you jumper the the truck. I mean they yeah. Anyway, um, that's a whole different issue, but. Uh, yeah, I may just go ahead and pop rivet them in place. Um, so, yeah, that's it for tonight. So, until tomorrow, bye.